Hi everyone, I'm here to read to you a very quick story. My name is Anula Anthea de Freitas and I am in the capacity right now of your storyteller. So this is a story that I love very much. It's one that I was introduced to about 16 years ago and it's still as fresh and as powerful as the first day that I read it. So allow me to just indulge you for a few minutes. The name of the story, Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. It was very good for standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at his knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald. The animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought, I'm a useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful. He whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. And so this is my awesomely favorite SS book. Every time I feel discouraged, every time I'm doing something, and I'm, you know, sometimes I kind of take my eyes off focus and I might be looking somewhere else. 
I slap back into position and remind myself that what I have been called to do, there's nobody else who can do it. And what you have been called to do, only you can do it like you. The one profession that you could never fail at is being true to your authentic self. Once you're truly you, the way God created you to be, to do what he has called you to be, I'm telling you, nobody can do it like you. So today I want you to be like Gerald and really step out in boldness, identify where you fit in and just flow with the power of the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day, guys. I'm looking forward to chatting with you very, very soon. Bye-bye.